Today's video is sponsored by me. That's right, I just launched my Chrysalis preset pack for Vital. It has 100 different sounds, each one crafted carefully and with a lot of love to make them unique, useful and fun to use. They are great for many genres of electronic and synthesizer music and they are also great starting points so you can make your own sounds. So to celebrate that, today I wanted to show you how you can easily make interesting and advanced sequences on Vital. And for that, I'm going to show you how to program them and even how to make a polyrhythmic sequence. That's right, Vital has polyrhythmic features. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you want to support my content, consider becoming a patron. I have different levels for different budgets. You can get early access to my videos and also free presets, free sample packs, and even discount codes for this preset pack and every other preset pack that I will launch in the future. So. Without further ado, let's go! Vital doesn't have something called a sequencer, but we can take advantage of how advanced the LFOs are. These LFOs are not only LFOs, they are also multi-step function generators, as you can program something as complex as this. Now, the idea is that you choose any shape, let's make it not as sharp so it doesn't bother you, and let's put the LFO into the pitch of the oscillator. And now we have something like this. Now, that's too much, but luckily for us, these values are on semitones, so let's enter just 12 semitones. Now we have one octave to work with. The idea is that we use this pencil tool right here and we keep it here on the step. And now we can do something like this. And it sounds like this. Now, that's not in tune and that's where this quantize comes into play. If you press this right here, that looks like an octave on a piano, you can transpose every note into the keys that you select. So now we have a minor key. If you press E, it's going to be E minor. So if you want to keep it on C minor, just press the global snap. Now, what happens if I don't want this to be on all the time? I want to program something like a gate, an envelope for each note. Well, the easiest way to do it is that you lower the volume down, you put another LFO, and now you choose this ramp down shape with the pencil. And make sure that both LFOs have the same amount of steps. And now we modulate the level and we have something like this. which is more similar to a sequence. You can put a different rhythm and you can even change the tension. Now, I know that there are many tutorials on Vital on how to do this, so let's make it more interesting and let's program a polyrhythmic sequence right here. As we have three oscillators, we can program a polyrhythmic sequence of three different time signatures. Let's keep it simple. Let's put it on three. So we put three different notes and do the same with the gates. Let's put it even slower. I'm lowering the tempo of my DAW so you can hear how this works. So now we have a sequence of three steps. Let's activate the second LFO. Let's make maybe a different shape. We do the same low pass so it's not too sharp. And now we do something similar with the LFO three, but now we put four steps. And now we have a three against four sequence. Remember to transpose it so we have both oscillators on the same key. And of course, then you can add some effects, so it's more interesting. And of course, let's use the third oscillator, so we have now, I don't know, a 3 against 4 against 5. Okay, let's do it. The amazing thing is that you can have different pitches on each of these oscillators because, well, you have up to eight different LFOs. Just remember that each gate LFO has to have the same steps as the pitch LFO. And now we have 
of three against four against five polyrhythmic melodic sequence. We can even go further and add something, I don't know, like a hi-hat pattern that's also in another time signature, let's say 7. Let's add some rhythm to it and let's make it sharper so it doesn't bother us. And there you have it, the most basic way into how you can make a polyrhythmic sequence on Vital. Not only that, you can go further and add more effects, different types of oscillators, and even modulate the filter so it also have a kind of polyrhythmic vibe to it. For example, we can put all of the gate LFOs into a filter, but you have to put it really low because when they sound at the same time, they are going to sum and, well, they are going to be brighter. And now we have something like this. And there you have it, that's how you make a polyrhythmic sequence on Vital. Now of course the invitation is that you apply different time signatures and you can do it by ease just by changing these and then applying a different pencil depending on if you are programming the gates or the pitch. You can go even higher on the pitch, maybe 24, maybe more, and even you can put the global snap right here on every single one of them, so then you can transpose this by I don't know, seven, so you don't go up until the next octave, but it's going to still be on key with everything else. If you follow along, you will see that it's really easy to program, so you can start making your own weird polyrhythmic sequences that are going to sound really advanced but are really easy to make. And of course you can try with other shapes, other filters and other sound design techniques that you know. So if you like this preset you can subscribe to my Patreon so you can download this and every preset that I make on my video. And if you want more polyrhythmic sequences I have a bunch on my Chrysalis preset pack. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, please consider subscribing and give the video a like. That's it for today, I leave you to practice and I will see you next time. Bye bye.